Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Ford Motor. The report was first published on our website April 8, 2022, but this is a more detailed version which also includes some fundamental data you need to know. In this 7 to 10 minute long video we give you the information you need to know about Ford Motor for the upcoming trading day on Monday 11th, like support and resistance levels, signals, chart analysis, price to earnings ratios, and possible trading levels. Make sure you watch the entire report so you don't miss out on some key information needed for your trading. Please remember to subscribe so we can continue to grow and give you these free videos. Make sure to hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new video. Now just sit back, relax, listen and watch the screen as we will show you some interesting data as we move along with the report. In this section you will get some information about the current Ford Motor performance to better understand the where the stock is right now. In our systems, the Ford Motor stock currently holds a minus 3.281 score, and our system has ranked Ford Motor cell candidates since April 6, 2022. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 2.21%. This is an average return of minus 0.74% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Ford Motor our last headline reads, Ford Motor stock price up 0.67% on Friday. The Ford Motor stock price gained 0.67% on the last trading day, Friday, April 8, 2022, rising from $14.96 to $15.06. During the day the stock fluctuated 4.25% from a day low at $14.81 to a day high of $15.44. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 8.56% for this period. Volume fell on the last day by minus 29 million shares and in total, 72 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $1.08 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $25.87, and the lowest price was $11.14. Right now the price is 41.79%, or $10.81, below 52-week high at $25.87, which also is all-time high for the stock. The Ford Motor Stock Trends, Predictions and Analyst Ratings Soon we will give you the analyst ratings for the stock but first the trends. The stock lies in the lower of a very wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $14.38 is broken, it will firstly indicate a stronger fall rate. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 29.01% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 25.60% and minus 7.45%. The 12-month trended indicates a 40.43% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between 46.43% and 158.14%. This equals a price between $22.05 and $38.88 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Thursday, April 7, 2022 Barclays set target to $23 to $17. On Friday, April 1, 2022 Wells Fargo set target to $26 to $25. On Tuesday, March 15, 2022 Jefferies set target to $20 to $18. On Tuesday, February 22, 2022 Wells Fargo set target to $24 to $26. On Tuesday, February 8, 2022 Morgan Stanley set target to $12 to $13. From analysts Ford Motor Stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Ford Motor Stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Ford Motor. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, April 7, 2022, and so far it has risen 0.67%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. 
This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Ford Motor stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $15.92 and $16.67. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a sell signal. Pivots gave a buy signal two days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal one day ago. The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal eight days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal eight days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart gave a buy signal 53 days. If we look at the 12-month chart we see, short moving average gave a sell signal 7 days ago. The long-term moving average gave a sell signal 46 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 40 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Ford Motor Ford Motor finds support from accumulated volume at $14.96 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $0.63 cents between high and low, or 4.25%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 4.03%. Next upcoming earnings report for Q1 2022 is expect to be released April 26, 2022. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Ford Motor meets first resistance at $17.72. If you do not hold Ford Motor shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Ford Motor finds first level of support at $14.96 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. Other levels you should watch based on the famous Fibonacci model are Buy at $14.86, $14.71, Sell at $15.34, $15.49, $15.73. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Ford Motor is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. The five latest insides trades have been done by Ford William Clay Jr. whom have bought and sold 1,312,758 shares or options in the company. Please go to our webpage at StockInvest US to find more details about the trades. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be positive at a ratio of 55.134. In total, the insiders bought 5,549,854 and sold 1,536,310 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Ford Motor stock a buy? Ford Motor holds several negative signals and is within a very wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Monday 11th we expect Ford Motor to open up $0.0433 and start trading at $15.10. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching.
Leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.